Hey y'all, hope everybody's doing well on this fine evening. I just wanted to jump on here for a quick second and send somebody some encouragement and maybe some confirmation. Um, I have been very transparent about this being a season of suddenly, that God is moving suddenly in this season. This is my season of suddenly after suddenly, suddenly after suddenly, we are in a suddenly season. And God has confirmed that word through many people. God has confirmed that word to me and um, I, he's moving at an accelerated at, at an accelerated pace. God is moving rapidly. God is moving um, immediately. God is moving swiftly. God is moving quickly. God is moving very, 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 very fast. God is moving suddenly. And so, what I heard earlier today that blessed my spirit, and it rhymed because God is dope like that. But God revealed to me. He said, "I am moving. I am shifting and sifting suddenly." God is shifting and sifting suddenly. And so when you think of shifting something, that the act of shifting something is to move something from one place to another. Um, whether it's your focus, whether it's, you know, a, a physical object, shifting means to move from one place to another. The act of sifting something is to filter out, to, to put something through a process um, through a sieve to filter out what is useless, what doesn't have value, what doesn't add to whatever product or whatever it is you're making. So it's a it's an act or a process of filtering. So God is shifting, moving suddenly, and He's also sifting suddenly. He's filtering. He's removing useless parts suddenly. And so some of the pressure that a lot of you are feeling in this season is because it is God shifting and sifting suddenly at a very rapid pace. Things are happening really quite quickly in the spiritual realm. Things are happening very quickly in the physical realm. And God is moving. God will not be mocked. God is not playing in 2023. God is literally trying to give us the keys and the cheat code to the kingdom. God is done with religion. God is done with tradition. God is done. God is sick of, of a lot of things that have been going on. God is like, I'm done playing with y'all. Uh, Playtime is over. I need some things to happen because I need my people to be prepared for the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Jesus said that in Matthew, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And we are in the day where God is moving and God has to move things suddenly and he has to shift things and he has to sift things in order for us to be prepared for what it is that he has for us. So the word that I got when he said, I'm shifting and sifting things suddenly, don't be alarmed and don't be dismayed by what you see in the physical realm because things are happening very rapidly and at an accelerated pace in the spiritual realm. We we wrestle not against flesh and, and blood. The word says we wrestle not against flesh and, and blood. I don't know why I can't get that word out. But the spiritual principalities. Things are happening spiritually, okay? God is moving things around. God is not playing with us. God is God is about to show out in 2023. And if you are not prepared, if you are not in position, if you are not ready, you will miss what God is doing. And I would hate for you to miss the kingdom because you're distracted by what it looks like. Okay? So God is shifting and sifting suddenly. So whatever it is that you're feeling in the spiritual realm, whatever you're feeling and you're not really sure how to put words to it or to, to articulate it, understand that God is moving at an accelerated pace. God is shifting, changing, and sifting, filtering suddenly, quickly, because the kingdom of God is at hand. I hope that blessed somebody and I hope that you, you know, obviously you take that to God in prayer. Obviously, you can look in your word. This is God is teaching the message of the kingdom. OK, I'm excited because he's giving me keys and cheat codes so that I can be a part of the kingdom because I will not be left behind. OK, <laughs> let me just let you know, I will not be left behind. I will not miss what God is doing. So if I have to if I have to get by myself, if I have to lay some things down, if I got to move all the way out of the way, if I got to die to my flesh, if I have to die to my own ego, my own desires, my own will, which is what he is requiring of us, then I'm going to do it. My only vision for 2023 
is to be in his vision. I can't miss what God is doing. I don't have a bunch of goals. I don't have a bunch of resolutions. I don't have a bunch of business plans. My plan is to follow God. I'm going to obey my way into the kingdom. I'm going to obey my way into wealth. I'm going to obey my way into prosperity. I'm going to obey my way into the kingdom. And God is moving. He's shifting and sifting suddenly. Don't miss what God is doing in this season, okay? I love y'all. I hope y'all have a wonderful evening. I just wanted to share that word with you. Please like this video, share with somebody. It's going to be confirmation. And please subscribe. <laughs> Peace.